In this video, we're going to show you the different sides to Singapore. We're going to show you what to see and what to expect in Chinatown, the Arab Quarter and Little India. We are Kylie, Casper and Ella, an Aussie Danish family who loves travelling the world and exploring new countries. If you would like to follow us on our journey, make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram so you don't miss out on any of our adventures. Hi guys, we are in Chinatown. So we're gonna go for a little wander around and take in the atmosphere. It's really cool to see like all the lanterns and the Asian facades and also the temples. So we're really looking forward to exploring this area today. After a short stroll through a Chinese food market, we headed over to the five-story Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. Inside the temple, there are thousands of small Buddha figures and a grand hall filled with beautiful golden statues. On the fourth floor, there is a stupa with a sacred relic, what is said to be the left canine tooth of Buddha. There is also a peaceful rooftop garden with a pagoda and a large prayer wheel, and lots of beautiful plants and orchids. You can certainly smell this up. Durian in the air. <laughs> <laughs> There's durian in the air tonight, the stars shine bright. No, it's really go at all. No, not really. <laughs> so we've managed to find some durian for Ella. So super excited to see what she thinks of it. Let's give it a go. It looks interesting. It does. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So my mum and dad are making me try durian for the first time. Um, I don't really know what to expect. All I know is that it smells really bad and it looks like that. I did not expect <laughs> it to look like that. Okay. How do you even eat this? Do you just grab it like, ew, it's all gooey. Ew, what is that? That's so gross. Okay. <laughs> no, just pick it up and eat it. Just, just eat it. Eat it, come on. <laughs> what do you think? It's like onion. Okay, let me try it. Mm. Is there a seed in there? Or? I have held. It, it's like all custody uh, on the inside, but then a little good. bit stringy as well. It tastes and smells like spring onion. I don't know, it's, it does it's have like really an onion weird. smell. It is really strange. Yeah, thank you. Ew. <laughs> How much money do I get for eating this, by the way? <laughs> no, if you, but if you get hooked and get into it, apparently they have a special, so you get three of those for $10. Three for $10, yes. okay. All right. <clears throat> but I have to say I'm a little put off by Ella's reaction. And now. it's all like, it's <laughs> almost like custard in the middle, like onion custard. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit like what Ella said, like you kind of get like this, like it. Yeah, it made me want to hurl. <laughs> um, <laughs> like a bit of an onion kind of taste initially. <laughs> Are you okay? Ew. It's so gross. Okay. <laughs> I actually just vomited. Okay, I guess it's my turn. I don't really want to miss out. <laughs> Even after seeing how uh, Ella and Carly just reacted, but uh, let's give it a go. Why is it so gooey on the outside? It's all like mesh and it's a weird consistency. <laughs> it's a bizarre flavor. It tastes a bit like kind of spring onions. It's kind of crunchy and then it has that really kind of, this texture here on the inside and and it has those crunchy bits as well. I don't think it's ever become my favorite. I think I need some tissues to get this gooey stuff off my fingers. That's why you should have probably put the gloves on. I probably should have, yeah. 
<laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be this good. All I can say is thank goodness for coconuts. I really saved the day after eating that freaky fruit. <laughs> Um, obviously, they're very popular here. Uh, people love them. Yeah, they're selling everywhere on the, in the markets and people, people are buying them. Busy over there selling them, so yep. they seem to really like them. I don't know why, but probably has some sort of like I don't know aphrodisiac or some sort of yeah. medicinal purpose of some sort. Um, that would be the only reason to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll really be a pointless fruit. Yeah, it's a pointless fruit. It's really a pointless fruit. I don't get it. So, anyway. <laughs> I really like the architecture. It's really cute. It has like these beautiful kind of like colonial style buildings with these beautiful painted wooden shutters on all the windows. So it just really adds to the atmosphere. Really cute area. I really like it. I think it would be easy to get caught up in just staying within, you know, Singapore, the main part of the city and just hanging around like all the shops and the modern buildings. I think it's uh, a really nice spot to come. We have had a really great time walking around Chinatown. I would definitely recommend coming here if you have a couple of days spare in Singapore. There's a lot of cute bars and restaurants, fresh fruit, and also some really nice shops where you can get some cheap clothes, belts, um, all sorts of like little knickknacks, um, but just a really cute vibe. This place is so hot and humid, um, which is kind of ironic because we live in Saudi Arabia but we live in constant climate control. So you never really feel that hot and nobody goes out early during the day. But here, obviously it's like this day and night, there's not really any relief from the heat. So everybody is going out all times of the day. But yeah, I guess we're in the tropics. So that's what it's like to be in a place like this and travel in a place like this. How are you feeling, Ella? Tired and very hot, and we just found a bed. Ah! It's quite heating, so I think we're going to take um, advantage of it, make the most of it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your shirt! <laughs> oh my gosh! That definitely did not pass the sweat test. <laughs> definitely not. That's a bad one. Oh my god, you're bad. It's like you have a different colour shirt now. Turn down to the front. <laughs> front is transitioning. The bag is already there. Yep. Oh, air condition coming up from this building here. It's <laughs> lovely. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. You guys gotta feel this. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so refreshing. And a breeze too. Lovely. So we are in the Arras border. So behind me you can see the Masjid Sultan Mosque, which was completed in 1932, approximately 100 years after the original mosque was built. Get a uh, magic carpet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi. Oh, Hi. wow. So we have just been walking down the Arab Street, and it certainly does have a flavor of the Middle East along there. So different Middle Eastern restaurants, as well as textiles. We've just come one street over and now we're sort of in like a bar and club type of street. It's a little bit unexpected. Wasn't expecting this, but it's a really cute area. Very colorful, very vibrant, all sorts of characters. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's amazing when you like just walk around, it's amazing what you can actually just find along the way. Because this one is your Singapore, the uh, number, number 
Number one is first shop. Oh, really? Yeah, you are the dog. Uh, Schnauzer. <laughs> Ah. Oh. So so you can buy the ticket, go inside pay on the park. Where is the park? The other side. Oh, on the other side. But, but, but you must buy the ticket. Or you can rent a park. Come. <laughs> you have to do a cup, right? Then behind, one side is a photo, then behind is what? Singapore passing day. Ah, uh, with the street. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. We'll think about it. Yeah, so forward. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Do you want to rent a pug? That's an interesting concept. You can bring your own photo of your own pug, or if you don't have one, you can rent a pug. Why not? They're always called What the Pug. What the Pug. What the Pug. <laughs> and they have a rent a pug up here, he said. That's so funny. Here is the pug studio. So this is where you come if you don't have your own pug. And you come in here and you can have a photo with a pug and create pug merchandise for yourself. So, right. Okay, interesting concept. I only one thing to say, what the pug. <laughs> oh, do you feel like you're at home? Yeah, so that means kind of to, like, to be cozy, to create a good atmosphere. So it comes from the word like bigly. Which is like, I have no idea how to explain this actually. <laughs> um, actually, it's kind of like a concept about creating a nice atmosphere, cozy atmosphere, just hang out and have, have a good time. With people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. generally, yeah. So the Arab Quarter has definitely been a bit of a surprise. There's some really nice and cute streets, really good atmosphere. I would say it's the Arab Quarter with a bit of this, that and the other and a side of plus plus. That's for sure. <laughs> it's definitely not all Arab here. Uh, you can find shops that kind of relate to what you can buy in Europe or in other places around the world. But uh, yeah, it's a really cool place. Lots of nice cafes, restaurants, just a good atmosphere. What do you think? Yeah, it's really cute. It's really nice. Okay. Can we just smell the roses? Awesome. So far walking through Little India, all I've seen is hairdressers and jewelry shops selling lots and lots of gold. <laughs> so let's walk around and see if we can find something else. Amazing, another gold show. Okay. I think we have passed about 20, 30 of them so far. Hello. Australia. Yeah. Really? Australian land? I'm from Victoria. Victoria? Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Australian lamb is the best, yeah. I literally feel like I've been transported to India. I had no idea that Singapore had this side to it at all. It's kind of crazy actually. I don't feel like I'm in Singapore. There's no glitz and glam here. It literally feels like a taste of India. Um, so it's pretty amazing. There's a load of food halls selling all different types of Indian food. And you can see behind me upstairs in the Tekka Center, uh, they also sell beautiful Indian garments. <laughs> We're from Brisbane. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, you have beautiful clothes. 
So upstairs in the Tekka Centre, you will find this amazing array of Indian clothes. It's absolutely gorgeous. So many different colours and different styles. It's just quite mesmerising actually, looking at all the beautiful clothing. Uh, my favourite are the beautiful ones with all the beads on them, but there's all different, all different colours, styles for, for all your tastes basically. But yeah, really beautiful. So it's definitely a hidden gem here in Singapore and I think it's definitely worth coming over and taking a visit. I think most people when they come to Singapore, they go to all the trendy malls and all the trendy shops, especially along like Orchard Road and over at Marina Bay Sands. But I think it's really great to kind of go outside of that and have a look at what else Singapore has to offer. And it's really a mix of all different cultures. I actually didn't realise how multicultural Singapore actually is. But I love it, it's really quite diverse and it's really amazing coming to what well, we've been to Chinatown today and you do feel like you've transported into China. We've also been to the Arab Quarter and you feel like you're in the Middle East and now we're here in little India and I feel like I'm in India. So it's pretty cool. Um, so if you're here for a couple of days in Singapore, it's definitely worth jumping on one of the MRTs and coming out to these different districts to have a little bit of a look. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel.